Clarence TV speaking to uh, player assistant manager Mickey Spillane after the 1 0 win over Bath City today. Mickey, that was an interesting day. No Robbie here today, How did, and play, you playing as well, so and the win as well. So, a, a, yeah. an interesting day. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the week uh, preparation hasn't been, hasn't been great with COVID floating about. A lot of the players have picked it up and positive lateral flows and we didn't know who was available, who could train, who couldn't. Um, unfortunately, uh, Simo couldn't be here today. Um, so it's not, it wasn't perfect preparation, but at the same time, all the teams in the league are going through the same, the same problems um, and the boys have just dealt with it um, unbelievably today. And you brought in Elliot Ward from the academy just to help out on the sidelines. Just we've got that infrastructure in place where we can bring in people like that when we're a bit short staffed today. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, Wardy knows all the boys. Wardy knows the club. Um, Wardy knows what he's doing. Um, Wardy knows um, a lot. So to have him to step in to, to help me out when obviously Simos wasn't here, so we had no one really on the side sideline as obviously I had to play. Um, it was was perfect and. and the lads responded really well to him and it was really good to have him. And then on to the game, probably a game we probably wouldn't have won a few weeks ago and just shows a testament of where we are now as a team. Exactly and, and today um, it definitely wasn't the type of game that we could come out in and play silky football with the weather, the pitch um, and we knew what we had to do coming into the game, we knew it wouldn't be pretty, um, we knew we had to kind of do all the ugly stuff and it might not look great from the stands, from the side. Um, but we knew what we wanted out of it and, and that's what we got, so um, fair play to the lads. I can still see the influence of Robbie, with, despite him not being here, with a lovely throw-in goal again. Yeah. For work from uh, Simeon and Cameron finished off by Tom. Yeah, the lads, the lads continue. We don't, we don't change our game plan, we don't change our mentality, especially after the last three or four games where we've really picked up. Um, that wouldn't change because Simo's not here, it's installed into the boys now, but we need to carry on to move forward and, and get where we want to be. Yeah, and the second half, obviously, with the weather conditions, not easy, but it's the same situation we've had the last few games, a heavy pitch, bad weather, and we've come through it again. Yeah, exactly. You've got to, you've got to use your experience at all the players. You've got to understand that pitches are different, weather is different, the teams you play against are different, um, and you've got to do whatever you can to win the game and, and play and play in a certain way. And, and today we fr really frustrated them. Um, we said at half-time, um, we know this is not pretty, but it's working. They're getting frustrated. Um, we're killing the game off. We're slowing it down. Um, and we continued that in the second half. And, and I think from 1 to 11, including the subs, even, even the lads that didn't come on, you can see that they're um, encouraging the other boys. I thought they were brilliant. They, they grafted their socks off. Um, they, they won tackles, won headers, won second balls. Um, and it was, it was brilliant. And obviously a bit of a controversial moment, five minutes in time, the, the penalty was given and then overturned. What, what did you make of that it, out there? It was a very good tackle. Um, and to be fair, for the ref to change his mind and, and or for the, for the linesman to kind of overrule him and then change their mind and ultimately get to the, the right decision, um, fair play to him because some, some referees and, and sometimes that wouldn't happen even though it was a very good tackle. They knew it, we knew it. Um, but fair play to him to realise he made a mistake and just said um, no penalty. And a few new faces coming into the side, John and Charlie back from injury as well, so not easy for them to come on in a game like this, but they all contribute to the win. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing, we've got, we're have got now bringing in players, the, the squad look really thin, as, as you all know, um, and we've, we've got a lot of academy boys pushing on now, so we don't want a squad where we've got um, no kind of route for the academy boys to, to kind of get through but we also don't want a, a squad where it's just easy where it's just academy right you're just given it um, so now we're starting to fill the squad out with good players there's competition um, and that's how it should be when you play for a, for a club like Chelmsford there should be competition for your place and um, and the players we've brought in um, they're now getting in they're now seeing how we play and, and they've only had one two sessions with us so um, the lads have made them feel welcome, so we'll see how they do this week. And we've got the Essex Senior Cup in midweek, a chance to rotate the squad now. We've got a few extra players for that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's a chance. Um, Simo, me and Simo will look at it and see how lads are, how they're feeling after today, and um, whether see what see what he thinks, and we'll go go forward to Tuesday. And lastly, is, is Simo going to be back for that game or or not? Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, I think he's got to obviously get the 
go by the rules and get the two negative tests and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, he will be back for Tuesday. OK, otherwise you're in charge again, Mickey. <laughs> yeah, well, in charge again. Uh, well done today and uh, well done on the win. Cheers. Thank you.